So do you want to check your oxygen levels at home? A pulse oximeter is a quick and simple tool you can use to measure how well oxygen is being sent to your body. In this short video, I'll show you exactly how to use a pulse oximeter, what your readings mean, and tips for getting accurate results. Let's get started. So a pulse oximeter measures two things. It measures your oxygen saturation levels, the percentage of oxygen in your blood, and your pulse rate how fast your heart is beating. So how to use it correctly. First, you wanna ensure that um, you do have two AAA batteries, and this one I purchased online, and that is what it requires. You just insert it to the back of the dis d device. You wanna make sure that you turn it on, of course, and when you turn it on, you're gonna see the areas for two numbers, your SpO2 at the top, and this one has a heart per minute, or it may say BPM per minute. You want to place your fingertip, usually it's the index finger or your middle finger, into the device and wait for a reading. The reading may typically take between 5 to 10 seconds. Your oxygen saturation and your pulse rate will appear. Now there are some things that could affect how accurately the reading um, is presented. You would definitely want to make sure that you wash your hands. Keep in mind that having certain nail polish does interfere with the sensor and could provide a false reading. And I do have nail polish on right now, so that could possibly indicate a false reading for my heart rate, for instance. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna continue with this. Now, how to interpret the levels? A normal SpO2 level is between 95% to 100%. Now, above here is my SpO2, and currently it is at 98. And that is within the normal range. A mildly low SpO2 is between 92 to 94%. With this, you definitely want to monitor closely, especially if you have underlying conditions such as COPD, heart failure, COVID, asthma, or any other respiratory illness. If you're below 92%, this may be a sign of hypoxia or low oxygen. You want to seek medical help right away. Always consult with your healthcare provider about what your levels are, but oxygen levels before below 92% is a medical emergency. Now our bottom number next to the heart right here, or sometimes it may say BPM, is your pulse rate. 